everybody and welcome to another Q&A video where you learn all about me and my opinions. Isn't that cool? <laughs> As always, if you have a question that you would like to ask me, please make sure to leave it in the comment section of this video. And if I haven't answered it recently or at all, I will make sure to include it in the next video or an upcoming video. So the first question is from Tommy Mitchinson who asks, do you get any grief online for being a girl gamer? I used to get a lot. Before people knew, so well, started knowing who I was through my YouTube channel, I used to get a lot of negative comments. I got called fat, sweaty, ugly, you know, the usual stuff. Why are you out of the kitchen? Blah, de, blah, de, blah, blah. But I don't really get that anymore. Most of the messages that I get, pretty much all of them, tend to just be from people recognizing me in a lobby, which is really, really, really awesome. In terms of League of Legends, I've only had it twice where someone was just like, oh, how did you get out of the kitchen? Why are you not having sex with your boyfriend? Oh, you probably don't have one. You know, stupid stuff like that, the kind of average stuff that people say to girls online, but it's only happened twice. So honestly, I don't really experience it that much anymore, which is really good. I'm not really sure why. Either attitudes are changing or people just know who I am when it comes to Call of Duty, so I don't know, but it's it's I don't get it anymore, which is really awesome. The next question is from Star Designs who asks, have you ever tried sniping? If so, are you any good? Hashtag Black Ops 2. In Black Ops 2, I have tried sniping. I've done okay, but in general, I am a terrible sniper. Terrible. I am the world's worst sniper. I cannot quick scope. I have tried to learn how to quick scope. I don't just I just can't do it. I used to be okay as a sniper in the original Black Ops. Modern Warfare 3, I still sucked <laughs> at sniping. So I mean I could do a live commentary and just show you guys like how bad I am at sniping if you don't mind watching a terrible gameplay. But yeah, I, I suck. I suck as a sniper. The next question is from 907 Acrazed. Acrazed? Ack raised or a crazed? I'm sorry, I don't know which one it is. It's probably neither. And he says, I have a question for your Q&A. When do you think you're too old to be a gamer? Like a commonly used insult online is, what are you, 35? <laughs> I don't think you're ever too old to be a gamer. I really don't. Like I've said many times, that my mother is a gamer, she's been a gamer her whole life, she still plays like four or five hours a day of video games, so I don't think you're ever too old. The only time that people will tend to slow down is when they have children or like maybe they'll go to college or whatever, but in terms of you being too old to game, I don't think anyone is ever too old. I think that's ridiculous. Even if you have to put other stuff first, like you have children, you have a wife, you have a job, you have to do that stuff first. You can always slip in a little bit of time for video games. You could just play like two games of Call of Duty. I don't think you're ever too old to play two games of Call of Duty. The next question is from Manuel who asks, do you still enjoy playing Call of Duty? If so, why do you still enjoy playing? <laughs> yes, I do still enjoy Call of Duty. One of the main reasons and one of the main things that I've always loved about Call of Duty is that it's really fast paced. Like I love going into a room of three people, killing them all and being like, yeah. I'm the best. <laughs> like, I love those moments. I love those moments. And Call of Duty creates those moments for you pretty frequently. So that's what I really like about it. I also like that it's not time consuming. So say if I've had a really busy day and I just want to play a game, I can hop on for 30 minutes. I can hop on for an hour and still get as much from it as I would as playing for five hours. If that makes any sense. Like I don't have to put a huge amount of time into it to get a good amount of stuff out of it. And the last question is actually just a question that is asked by a lot of people. I've been asked this question so many times, so I thought I would just put it in a video so everyone knows my answer to it. And that question is, are you getting an Xbox One or are you getting a PS4? And I'm getting both, guys. I've said it quite a few times, but now you all know I'm getting both. I like the fact that Xbox One is gonna have dedicated servers. That's gonna make the online experience a lot better than it is right now. And I'm getting PS4 because Sony has badass exclusives. Their exclusives are always super awesome. So I'm getting both because then I have the best of both worlds. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for daily schedules of my uploads to the YouTubes. Okay, bye.